Hello everyone, today I bring you the movie I don't know if the flowers bloom adapted from Japanese manga. Shen is a middle-level employee of a company, and this awkward position prevents him from taking any slack. The 9-to-5 job made him numb. Even if he got sick, he didn't dare to take time off easily, and he had to complete the task despite the pain. Fortunately, he is about to be promoted and transferred to other cities to change his life. He is close to age. But there is no one around him who can accompany him. His heart is very lonely and lonely. Yang is the son of a famous painter. At the age of 19, he has too many worries buried in his heart. His parents left unexpectedly. Outsiders spread rumors that because his mother was seriously ill, his father abandoned him and both committed suicide. He was lonely, but wasn't he abandoned? He sat in the studio, looking at the painting in front of him that only he could understand. Expressing his sadness and hiding his longing, his father left him a large inheritance, including this house with a huge courtyard and countless rooms. He doesn't have to run around for daily necessities. He lives in his own world and lives in a self-contained manner. Until one day, he met Jenna. On this day, Jenna S. Company rented Yang S. House to take photos. From the morning, the noisy sound disturbed the whole morning. When finishing work, Jenna wanted to thank Yang the owner of the house, but he never thought that Yang was so young. Even if he saw him, he didn't think he was the owner of the house. Yang looked displeased at the man who walked around and disturbed him, but when Jenna saw that Yang was drawing flowers, his attitude changed 180 degrees. Yang first rejects Jenna's existence because he has eyes that can penetrate his heart. He doesn't want to expose his heart to others. It's just that many things end in a mess, especially feelings wanted to finish the last project well before being transferred, and often worked overtime until late at night, and finally fell ill on the side of the road. It was Yang S friend who picked him up, and under Yang S meticulous care overnight, Jenna recovered alive and well. The morning sun is always so warm. Yang is painting on the lawn. Energetic Jenna came over to thank him, and Yang smiled when he saw Jenna's clumsy appearance, but Jenna was stunned when she saw such a clear smile. After realizing it, Jenna returned to the company, and only after being reminded by her subordinates did she know that Yang was the owner of the house. Staring at his photo, Jenna wondered what exactly he was drawing. Others may envy Yang's wealth, but he actually has his own difficulties, which is the death of his parents. Whether it was an accident or he left him and chose to commit suicide, whether his parents loved him or not, it was just that there were no answers to these which made him breathless in his own world. Until Jenna appeared, bringing light to his endless night, and he wanted to catch him, so he took the initiative to ask for Jenna who brought a thank you gift. There was no temptation to speculate. No tact in the adult world. Yang S directly surprised Jenna. They came to Jenna S house together. And it was a new experience for Yan who was going to someone else's house for the first time. Even though the home is so small, he is very happy. Jenna is interviewing a girl about Yan's age in the company. He asked the subordinates around him. What would happen if he fell in love with them at the age of 28 like him? The subordinates told him directly that of course it would not work, and there would definitely be a generation gap. This made Jenna think of herself. Not only is he 28 years old, but there is an insurmountable gap between him and Yan who are already 40 years old. Jenna came to see Yang that day, and they talked about their dead mother. Yang was so young at that time that he couldn't even remember his mother's face clearly. He only knew that he planted flowers with his mother once, and there was nothing left. Presumably, in his impression, his mother probably didn't like him either. Yang can actually reveal his heart in front of Jenna, in order to live up to his trust. Jenna decides to help him open up, so they planted flowers under the moon, which were the seeds left over when he and his mother planted flowers. Although there is a high probability that the seeds that have been separated for more than 10 years will never grow flowers again. But in their mutual hearts, the seeds of love have taken root and sprouted. They hugged each other and kissed each other's lips. It's just that Jenna has been rolling in the world of mortals for too long. 
How can she not care about the eyes of the world, coupled with the fact that he is about to transfer away? Jenna began to intentionally distance herself from Yan and stopped visiting him at his home, just wanting to educate him. Yan was the braver one and called Jenna on his own initiative, and they met at Jenna's house. Facing the troubled Yan, Jenna's continued relationship with him will only cause him to suffer unnecessary disasters. While convincing himself that he can let go, he threw himself into Yang's arms. Although Yang is simple, he also knows what kind of difficulties he will encounter in the future, so he still wants to be with Jenna resolutely. They hugged tightly, feeling each other's heartbeat. Originally, Jenna wanted to find a suitable time to explain to him about his transfer, but she couldn't help but leave before he could say the news. Yang was very angry when he found out. He accused Jenna of why she started this relationship when she knew she was leaving. Now that the relationship has begun, why give up halfway? <laughs> Said, Jenna was really cunning, and he left the choice to Yang. Yang didn't agree. He also has his own life here. So the two broke up unhappy. Of course, people who love each other will not end the song just because of this. Jenna can't get excited about work. She keeps thinking about Yang. Yang looked at the painting by himself and kept thinking about the beauty with Jenna. On a night when Jenna was off work, he dragged his exhausted body thinking about apologizing to Yang. Yang waiting in the corner. And they made up again. They sat under the eaves of the house, back to back, enjoying the sunny day. Jenna told Yang that his parents died unexpectedly and no one wanted to abandon him. His parents love him very much. His father taught him to paint, and his mother planted the seeds of love with him. Because the flower is the same as Yang's name, called hibiscus, Yang asked Jenna whether the flowers would bloom this time, and Jenna gave a positive answer without hesitation. Yang finally reconciled with the memory and even had an account with himself, leaning on Jenna's shoulder to release his own world. No matter whether the flowers can grow or not, no matter what twists and turns their relationship will experience, Yang's heart is no longer hazy. He painted the picture in his heart with a smile on his face in the studio where the sun reflected obliquely. That's what he drew for his mother. That's what he drew for himself. And that's what he drew for them. The story ends here. In this somewhat Electra-like story, Yang was originally thought to be the one who benefited the most, but Jenna is the one who was reborn from the redemption, people who are intriguing in the workplace and struggling in society, at Jenna's age, have already lost their minds and longing for love and beauty, they have is just numb and boring work, doing nothing, but maybe this is the true portrayal of most people, and some are just muddling through their lives, even in the face of love, they don't have the courage to move forward and they think more about the right and wrong of the world, and people's gossip. This kind of life is nothing but mediocrity, which is tasteless to eat and a pity to discard. Fortunately, on that sunny day, they broke into each other's hearts. Jenna used his deep love to calm Yang's heart, and Yang used his courage to let Jenna see that life is no longer monotonous. I'm sure they can fight against the world together, and I just want to believe that they will have a future, because of the bravery that breaks the world. There must be a warm ending, otherwise it will be the sorrow of this world. It's just that ideal beauty is not equal to reality. Most of us, by Jenna's age, are living things we don't like. The ideals and ambitions of the past can't match the reality that I can earn a few hundred yuan more every month. Contentment has always been my ultimate goal in life. It's just that people have experienced in the mortal world. How can they resist the temptation? I warn myself not to be too ambitious not to live a life that I can't afford. This is my current cultivation state. Maybe you also want to talk about a relationship regardless of gender or age. Maybe you also want to take a walk and go trip. Let go of your vanity. Let go of your face. And be honest with life. And you will find out what it is like. Today's story ends here. Friends who like must support a lot. And leave your feelings in the comment area. See you next time.